missed 2021. Should you buy it? Well, it's not an easy clean cut yes or no. I will show you why in this video. This is an incredible game. It was created in 1993. It's a mythical game, in fact. But you have to understand that it's a puzzle-solving game with a lot of adventure and a big story behind it. So if you're not into that type of slow game where you really want to dive deep to read books, to go into different world, you know, and really get into the mood of Myst, well, it could be hard for you to really appreciate it. I mean, you have to be ready to put sometimes minutes, even hour, solving a puzzle. Well, not puzzle like that, a uh, puzzle like this one. And really understanding what is related to this or that and let the story guide you in that puzzle solving. So, of course, if your favorite game in the, the world is uh, Fortnite or Call of Duty, I mean, that is great. I'm not judging or anything. I'm just saying that it's first-person shooter or eye action game or your bread and butter on gaming. Maybe Myst is not for you. I mean, it's a special type of game. If you're into puzzle solving, adventure, slow type of game, well, you should buy Myst. I mean, it's just so good, so well done, and so immersive. It's a great experience. But hey, like I said at the beginning, it's not a clean cut yes or no. It depends on the type of games that you really love and that you really want to play. I mean, for me, it's a type of game that just blew my mind, you know? But at some point, you have to respect what you are and what type of gamer you are. So think really carefully and Go see a little bit of the gameplay that I've made. Go see uh, some of the uh, secrets or things like that. See the image and then decide for yourself if Mist is for you or not. So thank you for listening. If you love that video, I invite you to go see those two.